this road is an abandoned logging road um, right off of the Wapiti, which is kind of up in the um, Cliffdale, Natchez area. It's a beautiful place. Uh, this road itself is actually not even on the map. Um, I used Gaia GPS and was able to um, map it out, but it is literally uh, just uh, an abandoned logging road with um, lots of brush and trees growing in the middle of the road. It's pretty amazing. On this trail, there were only three vehicles. It was my fifth gen Forerunner, a second gen Forerunner, and a late 90s GMC Yukon. Once we get up to the corner on the road here, uh, I was listening to the radio and the other vehicles that were ahead of us reported that it dead ended at a cliff, um, just a vertical wall. So we took the opportunity to stop right here in the wide spot of the road. It's a little camping spot. There's a nice fire ring. It would be a dry camp. There's no river, there's no stream, there's no spring anywhere nearby here. We're at 3,700 feet. So this would definitely be a dry camp. You'd have to pack in your own water. However, it's very secluded. I don't think anyone's been up here in a very long time, at least not with a vehicle. I am running the Yokohama Geolander MT. This tire is uh, the 285-70 R17, and I'm running them at about 13 PSI. The, uh, this tire wheel combination did require the body mount chop kit, and a uh, one inch lift on the um, front suspension. So I do have my tires geared down pretty low. The truck itself is the TRD Pro, so it's got a track, it has a rear locker. Um, but at this point, I'm really just in four wheel drive low with um, the rear locker turned off because I don't need that level of traction. Uh, I'm not running the A track or any of the electronic um, control at this point, really just because the truck itself um, is doing a great job and it, it did not require um, any of those other uh, tools. This next part is fun. The road itself dead ends, so you have to like drop down um, a small hillside to uh, hook up onto another road. There's a little bit of a pucker factor there. It was kind of fun. While we were going down the hill, one of the things that I was thinking about a lot was just um, maintaining a nice slow speed, using my transmission to slow me down, so keeping it in first gear, um, and just kind of keeping an eye out for anything that might damage uh, the tires, because um, the last thing I want to do is change a tire on the side of a hill. I've done that before. It's not fun. So I really dislike uh, changing tires on the trail. Um, I used to run in my FJ40 Land Cruiser 331050 Swampers, they were the LTPs I believe. And there's a trail up at Evans Creek and every time I go to this uh, specific spot on the trail, I would just roll the tire right off the bead. And then I was stuck. Either I swap out the tire or I 
reset that bead and just it was a pain so i um, very happy with the tire wheel combination I have right now I've done a lot of wheeling it with this forerunner and not once um, lost a bead uh, with my Land Cruiser I actually have a whole new wheel and tire set I'm running 37 um, IROX they're amazing they're on a different rim so um, I have no problems with uh, the off anymore. This last section you'll see it's pretty steep and the uh, first gear low range does a great job of uh, helping maintain control on this descent.